Peace. Hey guys, my name is Kirby Downey. Welcome to another awesome video. Um, got myself a desk now, so I've got my printer up here. So I want to try make videos like this a bit more closer to each other. <clears throat> um, I just got back from Boston yesterday, actually, from the SolidWorks 2017 launch event, which I want to talk to you guys a little bit about. Um, what I learned and what's new in SolidWorks and how SolidWorks has sl is slowly becoming more of an affordable and more accessible software to entrepreneurs and hobbyists and how they could make it even more accessible. So in this video I'm going to be talking about what's new in SolidWorks and what thing things I've done that improves modeling mainly relating to 3D printing. The next video is going to be mainly about how SOLIDWORKS has become more accessible and how they could make it even more accessible than it is right now. First off, let me just show you a couple of things that I got up to. I got to get a private tour of the Gillette Stadium, the home of the New, of the New England Patriots. So, I'm going to wear my shirt. Oops. <laughs> I got to meet C the CEO of SOLIDWORKS, which is amazing, and I got to meet a lot of the amazing people that work there and, and which is really awesome and get to hear from them and talk directly to them as well as a bunch of user groups from around the world which is really really cool i was also then taken along and given a tour of the campus there their campus in boston their united states headquarters which was really really cool um, such a great office and i got to use a million dollar vr set which was insane like sitting with this car and bringing the car right up to you it feels like it's there it's like a holograph and it's really really cool but anyway back to what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2017 that can help you you know increase your workflow and helps out with 3d printing in, in fact one of the new features they brought out is to wrap text or sketches around any shapes before you needed a flat curve you know like a cone or a cylinder before you can actually wrap onto something now you can wrap onto anything and you can wrap onto multiple surfaces this is fantastic you know for organic work which is pretty cool um, magnetic mates is pretty cool but also very situational it's, it's basically allows you to for example convey about and just snap it together using magnets basically to click and drag them and pop them wherever you want to go it's great for layouts the biggest the main problem I find with this is that you have to spend a lot of time setting this up that's the only real downfall to it the thread feature which I only learned about now um, is a great feature to create custom threads and to very quickly create um, a thread on a part but new with this feature is that you can do multiple threads like on a coke bottle or and as well as you can trim your your threads the chamfer uh, the chamfer button now has quite a few more options um, similar options to like with radius so instead of just um, in instead of just distance distance and distance angle you've now got all the options that radiuses do as well as doing multiple chamfers in one feature which is great it just cleans up your tree so much better so yeah, I've always used that quite a bit in radius. One thing I did find very, very useful with this is the ability to switch from a fillet to a radius with one button. Say if you create a fillet, you don't like it, you just edit the feature and there is a new button where you can just click it and it just changes to a fillet, no longer having to go and delete it. And that really sucks if you've got, say, a couple of features relating to that, then you've got to go quite a bit back. So that just helps out with the workflow. The um, smart hole wizard has gotten a couple of improvements, so I don't use it so much. I just draw a circle and dimension it. The smart hole is perfect for machine precision. New in this feature is stacking holes. So if you're going to create a bunch of holes that steps into each other, you don't have to. What I would do is create a revolve for it. And the other option is to draw a circle, cut, draw a circle, cut, draw a circle, cut. Now you can create your hole, say add, and then create the next hole and add and then you choose your your diameter and your distance and it goes all the way through which is really really cool 
and then the last one is to being able to offset onto a surface so instead of having this round surface which you want to cut a hole and then having to you know which you want to yeah cut a hole you usually have to create a plane just off it and draw it on there and then extrude now you can just click on that surface and you can just say offset the surface and it will create that perfect line and then you can go ahead and work on that and that is very very helpful now this is just a small section of what is actually new in 2017 but I feel these are the best that correlates with the kind of stuff that I do um, like there's new drawing techniques uh, is, is new features within drawing and you know new features within simulation and that stuff but that doesn't pertain towards what I do anyway guys I hope you like this video if you have any other questions about SOLIDWORKS and what's new in 2017 please leave a comment down below and I'll answer it if you guys want to see more content about this me talking about SOLIDWORKS about how to use SOLIDWORKS maybe making a couple of tutorials please let me know down in the comments below please like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this we'll see you guys in the next one